I'm ZTapTap, and it's time for both a weekly update and a quick little fairly urgent warning about this whole freshwater beeswax in Abyssrium to start off with. Um, it turns out that the time, when you click, you know, when you upgrade a thing in Abyssrium, there's a times 100 times 10. Um, it's actually always been very bad to use the 10 times button because you get this tax, basically. And an interesting thing, only with the Coralite, it seems. Um, I can't actively display it because my Coralite is so expensive, but if you buy, if you upgrade the Coralite by 10 levels in this, it raises the price of all subsequent, like, of the next level, um, to what it, what it costs for 10 times. As you can see here for the Coral, it shouldn't be that drastic of an, of an increase. Um, it's, I think it takes, like, you know, I think it takes more like 30 to raise by that much. So basically what happens is if you level up by 10 times at a time, too many times, the, the Coralite cost just gets way out of whack. And I don't know if there's a way to correct that or not. Um, so just absolutely never use that 10 times button. See, the reason I didn't really get caught up by it is because the level up times 10 actually has always cost more than it costs to like just click this button 10 times versus clicking that once. It costs more. There's this little random tax that's like, it really feels like a math bug that they just kind of did wrong. But I've always just done manual levels, except for with Coral, because Coral doesn't matter and it's stupid and it, I hate it. Um, but yeah, with the Coral light, you always want to level one by one. So just that's, apparently that's why some people get stuck really early on in the fresh water. And like I said, I don't know if there's actually a way to fix it. Um, you might just try closing your app and see if the price goes down, but otherwise, just never use that 10 times button. So, that's just a little PSA there. Um, as far as Abyssrium news, nothing too exciting other than, well, I mean, there's the freshwater update, but we already saw that last week. Um, just had that bit of info to share. It's definitely a crazy slow grind, and something... Somebody found, um, somebody hacked the, the freshwater thing, you know, infinite vitality hacks and stuff. The freshwater core light maxes out at 5,000, which isn't really a great deal of fish that it allows you to get. And really, the freshwater tank feels really unfinished. The more I poke at it and stuff, it, it really seems messed up. Visually and everything, it looks great, of course, but there's all kinds of bugs and the, the vitality curve seems really weird. And things just don't seem like they work right. Also, apparently upgrading skills raises the time it takes to uh, for them to recharge. I didn't even notice that when I was playing before. And I don't have enough gems to level up anything to show you. But yeah, apparently people have lower skill costs. And it's not because of the uh, Lotus, which doesn't work, by the way. Um, it's because of the skill levels. So that just kind of... Everything in the whole update just kind of presses you towards watching hundreds of ads literally to uh, cast your skills again and get stuff so that kind of sucks but hopefully maybe they'll rebalance things and they've been very adamant their facebook person is really really bad um they've, they've been really adamant that oh no the lotus of life thing isn't a bug it's only supposed to re decrease the uh, individual skills recharge time guess what it doesn't re it doesn't reduce those at all it does literally nothing. In fact, let me watch this ad, and I'll show you. I'll show you that it does nothing. Okay, I got my skills back. Well, I can't buy the upgrade to show you, but the these numbers, they don't go down from, from the Lotus, apparently. It's the Lotus, like this, um, I believe this one is the most blatant, the Fireflies one. It costs a full, like, five hours to recharge, and it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, basically don't get the Lotus. Um, but for the most part, otherwise, Freshwater. If you missed the Freshwater video, I've got a Hidden Fish video slash How to Play It video that uh, kind of combines all of that into one thing. So that's, again, for Abyssrium, that's pretty much everything. Um, moving on to other things. I did get my new phone this week. And for a $30 phone, I'm actually pretty impressed. It's this little track phone. It's like Actel, I think, is the company that makes it. And it's got a little bit of bloatware, but hey, I put the Google Now launcher on it. I, you know, I put the apps that I want to use on it, and I set the defaults to what I use. And I mean, it's like my old phone was a Nexus 5X, and it's like 60 to 70 percent of the way there. The only things noticeably bad on it are the screen is kind of low quality, like it's got that blue tint to it, kind of like an old Nintendo DS screen. 
And I mean, it's obviously it's lower resolution than my Nexus 5X, and uh, the camera is quite bad. The camera is pretty much what you would expect from a $30 phone. But otherwise, I mean, it runs pretty much all my games. Uh, the one thing I haven't verified yet is Star Ocean, uh, but I did manage to install the APK for it. I don't know if it'll work exactly. But yeah, Abyssrium works fine on it. Uh, Food Fantasy works fine on it. Uh, even Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, I could play on it. So I, I'm still probably gonna get the Pixel Three because I need something with a good photo, uh, with a good camera, so I can get Parker pictures. I'm planning to once I get my full replacement phone, I'll probably do a little review of the $30 phone. But it's it's pretty impressive for a $30 little hunk of plastic. It's pretty nice. It's even got a replaceable battery. How often can you get one of those, huh? Yeah, I'm, I've been pleasantly surprised with that. Um, something I have not been pleasantly surprised with. Uh, I was getting two exciting things this week. I was getting my new phone, which got delayed. Uh, I just got it yesterday, actually. But um, I did eventually get it. And I was getting Spider-Man! <laughs> but Spider-Man got delivered to the wrong address. And Spider-Man got stolen. <laughs> and I don't want to spend another $60 on a game that I, I I just like, you know what, it's a big AAA game, it's a big name, it'll probably be $20 someday, and <laughs> I don't know if it's just like the opposite of the sunk cost fallacy or something, but I just don't want to spend another $60 on a game I just paid for, even if I didn't get it, um, <laughs> but yeah, that sucks. Uh, it's a federal offense to take mail that's not yours, even if it's delivered to the wrong address, by the way, so... Never do that. Just, like, you know, put it in your mailbox and write, like, wrong address on the, the envelope or something. Um, <laughs> yeah, who seals, like, whatever. So, yeah, no, no Spider-Man for me. So, I'll get it. I'm sure at some point it'll be, like, 20 bucks and I'll just get a digital copy or something. So, I'm sure I can play it sometime. I just love Insomniac Games. They make, um... Ratchet and Clank and the Infamous series, and I always thought like like the Infamous series like it's a really good like feeling of being a superhero and stuff, and like a big open city, so that's like perfect for Spider-Man. So I was really excited, and then I don't get to play it, but yeah, whatever. Um, what else? That, that was kind of mostly my week, dealing with no phone, and wanting but not getting Spider-Man. Um, food Fantasy has been going well. I published a guide on guilds in Food Fantasy. And uh, if you play Food Fantasy and you're over level 50, or um, even over the level 40 really, um, my, my guild's recruiting for very active people. We, what we're trying to do is beat the guild boss in that game. And um, basically everyone in the guild needs to put in a good try. And, um, you know, do, everyone has to do their best to try to beat the guild boss, which is neat and kind of, you know... Gives you a reason to be in a guild, gives you a sense of camaraderie, but we've had to kind of boot some, like, some people wouldn't even bother fighting the boss, some people hadn't logged in for days, so we've been pr pruning that up, so, and we had to raise the requirements, because a lot of people, we used to let people in at the earliest level you could join a guild, and that's cool, but, like, we get a lot of drive-bys that way, so we raised the requirement to level 40, but if you want to join our Discord, um, just go to sirtapdab.com slash Discord, or there'll be a link in the description, always. Um, this, if you have, if you never read the descriptions of my videos, um, you might want to check them out sometime. I put pretty much all the pertinent info in there. I link to the game if there is one. Um, I link to my patron, I link to my website, link to the Discord where you can chat with a bunch of other people that play the kind of games I do. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, the, the guild's kind of like the half for the Discord and half for just like, you know, people that join the guild and do a good job. Um, but there's a new big, there's supposed to be a pretty big event coming, I think, tomorrow in Food Fantasy, so that'll be interesting. I might stream that if Medicom is not fussy bussy, uh, which they probably will be, but we'll see. So yes, Monday around, I think it starts Monday anyway, uh, around the usual time, which is, you know, 6 p.m. Central, I might do a stream. Honey, would you not get your tail on my face, please? No, do not kiss the mic, please. You need to get your claws trimmed. Yes, you do. Um, I got Parker new food. <laughs> he was so it was so funny when he tried it for the first time. He like snuck up to it and like reached his head just over to the bowl and like just barely to like take like one granule of food and like ate it away from the bowl like 
like he was poison testing it or something. But he ate, I give him, uh, the way you're supposed to introduce a new cat food to a cat is like, you leave mostly the new, the old food and you put in a little bit of the new food and you put in a little bit more and more as you go on because they want like, you know, cats like control and stuff. They don't want to, you know, they don't like sudden changes to their diet and stuff. Um, he actually eats only the new food already, so he seems to really like it. Um, I was kind of surprised. I ordered a couple bags on Amazon. I just got a random thing that looked good. Um, at um, at uh, my grocery store since it would take a little bit before those get here and he seems to really like it. So, good week for Parker. You are very attention seeking today. Man. And it's completely ungame related but I can't wait for fall to like actually start. People are like, oh it's fall, it's fall. It's like, no. It's not. It's like 80 degrees still. I still gotta sleep with a dang air conditioner. I hate that. I don't like, I obviously like not like having heat stroke and dying, but I don't like air conditioners. I, this so noisy. I don't like to have them on. Um, plus bringing in all the outside air tends to, you know, affect my allergies and stuff. So I just, I hate sleeping with the air conditioning on, but it's better than like sweating while sleeping is like the absolute worst thing. You wake up and just like feel like, oh no. So like, you know, I got to leave the air conditioner on, but I'm like really excited for fall around here it's like a temperate climate so we get all the four seasons but it's like what i really live for is that bit in spring and fall where it's like it's not too cold it's not freezing but you don't need the air conditioner it's just nice so looking forward to some fall and looking forward to halloween streams those are gonna be fun if if again if mediacom works i'm gonna let i'm gonna have mediacom take a look before uh october hits I really don't want to, have to invite them over because like they waste so much time and nothing gets better. But I will invite them over, and I'll try to get streams in as good a shape as they can possibly be before October. Because I'm really excited for spooky streams. What we're gonna do is, if you've never you know seen my channel in October, what I try to do is pick stuff like the stuff like Yumi Nikki, more surreal, weird like uh, bits with like you know a horde like atmosphere but not like oh my god jump scares meh. not your five nights at freddy stuff not your um scp stuff not your hello neighbors but like you're more you know man what is this place kind of interesting stuff it's kind of what the channel's for interesting stuff but yeah that's pretty much the last week and what to look forward to you're a very nosy boy parker i've been playing some kirby star allies i've been enjoying the um a lot of the the levels they make for the different characters are actually pretty fun. There's lots of, like, when you play as Marx's thing, there's lots of neat callbacks to uh, Kirby Superstar, which Marx is from, of course. And uh, lots of cute stuff. I really wish they would add online co-op to that game. I would play that so much more if I had that. Just, come on, Nintendo, online co-op. Especially if you're going to charge for your online. Like, I don't, I don't play anything online on my Switch. So I'm not, I don't get the Nintendo online, and that's part of why people are like, oh, I think you should get Splatoon. It's like, no, I'm not, I don't, I, no, no. I, I, don't, I don't really enjoy online competitive stuff, and it's like, it's kind of shit. The only kind of online game I don't like is the only kind that Nintendo does. That kind of, like, competitive rage at slash with your friends kind of stuff, like Smash and Mario Party, or Mario Kart, rather. I assume Mario Party, there's a new Mario Party coming, right? I assume that'll probably, does that have online? I don't even know. But yeah, I've never been a big fan of that. I like the more cooperative stuff. Um, but yeah, that's the week. And uh, hopefully this next week will be a cool week. Hope you enjoy yours. I'll try to enjoy mine. See ya.